This is Paul Guyad with Tofu Banded Media, speaking with the voices from Thrilling Adventure Hour. It's the 16th highest rated podcast in the world. That is great. So first question, what are you two actively doing to kill those 15 people ahead of you and take over? Sparks Nevada has robot fists. Um, True. And he's from Earth. And he's from Earth. That would, that would <laughs> help, I assume. Uh, Ebola. The end. Yeah. <laughs> well played. Okay. Uh, no, I didn't realize it's uh, 16th highest. That's pretty good. In right? the world. The Is entire that internet. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Third I mean, highest I... on the comedy charts. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. You guys. So we just have to kick Mark Maron's ass. And I think Kevin Smith. Oh, is I mean, Kevin Smith the other? I mean, he has Smodcast, which has like 90 podcasts. Yeah, wow. So I think that's somewhere... I thought Night Vale was number two. Because, I mean, we can kick those guys yeah. down Well, no, you, you, guys are, you guys are doing a great thing with that. Rather than taking them on as enemies, you guys are doing the crossover with them. So it's like, we'll, you know, we might beat you, but the bloody yeah. war that ensued would leave no one alive. So it's like, why don't we right. do a crossover? Yeah. Like Keep your friends good, close. Like any good parasite, the Thrilling Adventure Hour uh, likes to enter through a side channel and eat our way out from the bin. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. And so, also, it's good to, you know, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Exactly. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody enemy, write that down. <laughs> enemy of my enemy is my friend. Oh, yeah. Dick Tracy. So have you guys thought of form? I mean, you guys are based sort of in L.A. at the Largo, which is an amazing space for this show. Um, have you thought of branching out to New York? I know you're doing some shows while you're here, but have you decided to, like, maybe make the East Coast Rolling Adventure Hour? Well, I live in New York now. Oh, cool. Um, okay. I, just, uh, I just moved here in May, and I have been talking with Acker and Blacker um, about a few things. Good. That's all I'll say at this point. That's okay. Um, we have, uh, there are members of Work Juice East. Uh, John Hodgman. John Hodgman. Scott adds it. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I've been talking with the, with the guys about doing something out here now that I live here because... Uh, I don't want the uh, I don't want the work juice world. I, I mean, I I will continue to fly back every month for the show. Sure, but I would also like to have something here going on because I think uh, the East Coast has over half of the country's people and pretty much yeah. Oh, there's a we, lot of fans here. We've been very fortunate to. I think this is our fourth or fifth time performing in New York. We've yeah. done the Bell House a handful of times. We were at Town Hall in the spring, uh, in the spring, and um, I think we would love to. I mean, if I had my druthers, we'd do something here maybe quarterly at least. I'd love it. Yeah, sure. I think that'd be a good time. Um, so, have you guys considered maybe doing an animated version of the show? As that would almost certainly kind of be easier. You could maybe, like, you know, record a couple at once and release them yeah. serially. Well, that was the original idea, wasn't it? That the, it was going to be a cartoon. The, it was originally written as an animated feature okay. by Acker and Blacker. And then the radio show came out of that. Hmm. Um, but now we're in the comic book world, where they, I keep saying we, but like we didn't write. We had very little to do with We had with nothing to do with the comic any, books. Sure. And yet we keep signing them. Yeah. Which is great. Well, I love yeah. signing things that I really yeah. spent no time working on. Well, I mean, I took a picture with Batman earlier, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't the Batman because he was like a foot yeah. shorter than me. Yeah. Well, you're a tall guy. Everyone's a foot shorter than you. Most people are a foot shorter than me. The yeah. camera adds 10 feet, so you don't know. Yeah. I mean, mo these legs are mostly mahogany. They'll fix it in post. Yeah. Just cut them right off. Um, so what are you guys looking forward to at the con, aside from, you know, doing your stuff here in the city? Um, for me, cosplay. I love watching the costumes. And I still have not found the toys that I'm looking for, which are the presidential monsters. I know they're here somewhere. Have you seen these? What's it from? Um, it's not from anything. They're doing monster versions of classic. Uh, <laughs> That's uh, what they're doing. They're presidents. doing werewolf. Uh, like they're doing universal monsters meet American presidents. Wow. So Baracula, Doctor Benjamin Franklin Stein. Oh wow. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm actually interested in that. Andrew Jacksferatu. That's uh, a stretch, but I like it. It's a, a stretch, good stretch. Yeah. I think, like, I would guess that from there on out, it gets super stretchy, right? It's um, well, I Al Gore. Was about to say, Al Gore. Right. I was going to say William H. Taft as the blob. See, you I should mean, work for this company. I, I wish I did. I would tell you where what. Is it Toy Tokyo by any chance? I don't know. They're over, like, on that wall. It's just like, I think it's like one guy that just makes these. Of course it is. It's always one guy that either makes these, these like, universal monster presidential mashups or kills a bunch of people. Yeah. And I'm glad that he found his outlet here. 
Speaking of toys, we do have a thrilling adventure hour crouch plush uh, Please, that I would like. Uh, I would like everyone to tweet. Do you have one uh, here? With we the hashtag like, uh, crouch plush lives. No, he's being held hostage right now oh. um, until we get was it a hundred thousand uh, likes? I think or, likes or, or retweets or something retweets. to uh, take. Have it produced. Yeah, it's and pretty then, adorable. It's really cute. Uh, even though it's a plush, they've uh, they've captured Gagliardi's eyebrow where it, <laughs> of him going like, "Spokes the book," like, <laughs> nice. like totally skeptical, like you're a moron. Which I don't know how we get away with two characters that do the eyebrow thing. It's my only great. acting go-to. So if yeah. they took that away, yeah. I'm retired. Well, I say if you've got it, flaunt it. I mean, you both right. have excellent eyebrows. My eyebrows are my breasts. Yeah. Yeah. My, hey, eyebra my, my eyes, eyes are, are down, down here. here. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Robert Hollywood, old school vice president producer. He's the vice president of Hollywood, basically. Calls you guys up and says, give me one suggestion to make the entertainment industry better. Uh, more Sparks and Croach. Excellent. Maybe a plush doll, perhaps? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say um, fewer rewrites on movies. Like, I, I would like it if uh, not everything ended and uh, tied up in a pretty bow. Like, I think, I, you know, I get frustrated watching uh, television shows and, and features knowing that in, you know, being aware of the time and being yeah. aware of where we are in the script and that it's, it's probably going to resolve itself nicely somehow. Were you guys nerds at any point, or you just were like, we? Were I think we past tense? currently are past tense. I mean, like you know, in the more pejorative sense, like were oh. you ever called you know nerd as an insult as opposed to nerd as nerd god? For uh, sure, yeah. I uh, I was a quiet kid through high school. Um, quiet. Yeah, I mean, I was a wallflower. Uh, I, it, it's remarkable to me that anybody from my high school or college would have any memory of who I was. Like I was not. You know, uh, out in the center, and I was the kid in the back going like this guy, you know, like sniping. Nice. Um, but never, yeah. I think I was a dork for sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was I was outwardly a ham in high school. Okay. Nice. Because uh, I, I was in in all the plays and musicals. Of course. Uh, but I never got picked on uh, because my brother was on the football team. Oh, oh nice. wow! So the offensive line had my back. Well was, done. Uh, which was nice. That must be interesting to have, yeah. like, because, I mean, theater's not really nerdy, but the idea of having this sort of, you know, you can't make fun of me because I got this dude right here. Right, exactly. That's an interesting... Also, theater is nerdy. Theater is definitely nerdy. Yeah. But, but when you have the offensive not D &D line nerdy. going, exactly. hey, that's the thing. go yeah. see this guy in Into the Woods. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> magical, <laughs> literally, yeah. Like... <laughs> uh, let's see, who were the, the offensive linemen that had my back? That were my brother's friends that would always come over. It was uh, Truck, Truck, Rock, and Snowball. <laughs> For real? Yeah. What was it called? Chuck Rock? Truck. Truck, truck Rock, and Snowball. Truck's mother <laughs> called him Mrs. Truck. Mrs. Truck. Yeah. His name was, uh, I, I don't even remember, Lawrence was his real name, but his mother even called him Truck. And I'm assuming he was a skinny guy. Kind yeah, of a Glasses, beanpole. braces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, snowball, just yeah. blonde, or he was no, he super coke. pasty. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah. Just coke it's like high coke. school coke. Yeah, yeah. And snowball was the only one when they all got themselves mohawks. Snowball wanted to be different, so he did the across this way mohawk. Sure, and he looked like a rainbow-headed coke dealer. <laughs> That's kind but of he genius. was, yeah. wow. but people were scared of him, so they wouldn't ever point it out. Terrifying rainbow coke dealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, it's always the coke dealers who are most threatening that have the cutest names. Sure. It's like yeah, go see Snowball, and he's the guy with like the buck knife. Yeah. <laughs> That's usually the way it goes. Um, so, the future, a thrilling adventure hour. Yes. Yep. What is? Well, it's our understanding that uh, Acker and Blacker have some some news to break as soon as tomorrow about uh, maybe something in the graphic novel realm and uh, <clears throat> some things. Maybe some, maybe something international. Yeah, maybe a little Ooh. travel is possible. Um, but oh, oh, Blacker's coming. Oh God! Oh my Stop God! What do we do? Don't look. Stop don't talking. Look. Stop don't talking. Look. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know how to handle this. Um, uh, going on, guys? No, uh... What are we doing? We were just we were just revealing everything that uh, you're going to reveal tomorrow. I wasn't asking about, them. They made, don't know well, anything about. They did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't... I didn't... They did... Um, I didn't ask them in any way. They just started offering... We were asked about the future, and we said that we... It's our understanding that you've got some news to break tomorrow. I we never have, said the future. We have a whole bunch of things to talk about at our panel tomorrow. I'm excited about it. There are big things happening at the Thrilling Adventure Camp. 
We got, we're going camping. We're going camping. Yeah. Yeah. There's a reason Mark Gagliardi doesn't know about it. We're so oh, wow. Yeah. Wait, what? You're doing great, buddy. How's living in New York? It's <laughs> great. I'll be under this table. <laughs> So, uh, We're getting the rabbit up. Yeah. All right, did you die? What happened? I don't know, but... All right. Okay, so fingers are twirling. Uh, guys, thank you so much. I, I don't even know what else to say. I mean, the show We have said, we have said ev absolutely Literally everything. every word in the English language. I mean, we had him over here. So I guess, uh, last question, Mark and Mark and Ben and Ben. Yeah. Like, does that ever feel like cheating? It's a little like that um, that movie, the... Uh, uh, Parent Trap. Parent Trap. <laughs> What's the one with uh, with uh, Bette Midler and Lily Tomlin? Big, Big, Big Business. business? Yeah. I love that movie. Right? I have seen that as a kid. Lily Tomlin's little snake bracelet. Yeah. She's great. Wow, nice pull. <laughs> Holy crap. Way to wrap it up. Wait right? a damn. Big Business. Big Get Business, you guys. Big Business. Coming to Blu-ray December. Are we Big Business? Watch the you thrilling adventure hour. No, no, no. Big big business is no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, so please listen to the thrilling adventure hour. Watch it. Absorb it. Feel it. Go to the panel tomorrow. There will be an announcement. Someone might go camping and someone might not go camping. So guys, thank you so so much. Thank you. Enjoy right. your con. Thanks.